All right, we're going to take a look at email routing and email handling in Pure Cloud. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at a little bit of setup. So, this is I'm the admin here, Rusty Buckets, but I'm going to take a look under admin and go to the contact center and just show you that on the left hand side here you have email. And what happens is you create a, a domain, uh, a main domain, and under that domain you can create up to 100 email addresses. So what I've created was sales at autosellsolutions.mypurecloud.com and service at autosellsolutions.mypurecloud.com. Now, this is a, a forwarding address. So what you would sort of best practice would be you would take your main sales email or your main service email and you would forward it to this email. This is going to give you a local copy so that you've got a copy of it on your existing email service and server. Uh, also, it's going to send it into... Uh, routing into the pure cloud. If I go into edit, and we're going to take a look at sales here. You can see that here's the email address. I can define which queue it's going to go into, so which agents are going to be able to respond to it. Um, the from email, the override for outbound email address. This is where you can respond with your sales at mycompany.com. So when they reply to, it goes in there. Uh, what skills? So you can do skills-based routing. So you've got a you know somebody that's a higher closer that you want to get the leads more faster, uh, or emails faster. You can add the skills in. They can do skills-based routing, and also you can support multiple languages. In addition, you can create priorities based on these emails. So a sales email might have a higher priority than um, a service email, and this is just going to apply to those who might be in both queues. All right, so I've got that. And also in my email setup here under my queues, we'll take a look at the sales queue and we edit it. You can go into your email setting here. And email setting, you can set a service level target. Alerting timeout, service level, and service level target. Now one of the other things I've done here is I can also create alerts. So if I go back into my queues and I wanna create my alerts I'll click on the little alert button up here and what you'll see is my alerts inbox so because I'm sort of the manager I can define these to be sent to myself I go into the rules here and what I've created was a new rule said email not responded so I open it up and basically the rule here is if any email comes into the queue and it's the sales queue and the maximum wait time for the email is more than five seconds I want to send an alert not only can I send an alert to the user in that inbox but I can send them an SMS and also an email as well so again if you have a, a sort of a lead uh, email or or you want to make sure that these emails are not sitting idle you can create a bunch of alerts and I've also have some additional alerts already created here um, things like abandoned, so how many people abandoned on calls, chats not answered, uh, max talk time, so if your talk time is too long, we have all these alerts, we can create new alerts. But let's get into the queue. So I look at my profile, Rusty Buckets, I look at my queues, I'm in service and sales right now, so I'm fine, I'm ready to go. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back to my profile. And then up here, I'm going to go into, into the queue, so I'm going to start taking calls or be available for calls, or I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna put myself uh, in the queue as well. So I'm gonna go on queue, and now I'm just waiting for a call. So now what I've created was I've created an email that says to sales at autosellsolutions.mypurecloud.com, lead opportunity, so this could be a company that's sending me leads. Uh, here's the information, and all you have to do is really accept so that they know that you got it. So I'm gonna send it in from my email, and what should happen is, in my um, pure cloud, I should be getting an alert, and here's what happens. Immediately I get alert, and here's the lead opportunity, the, the basis of the email. I'm gonna answer it, just so that it doesn't go to um, you know, not answered. And I have all the information here, and if I wanna reply, I can say, hey, um, you know, we have accepted, or we accept this lead, thanks and I can hit send, I can add an attachment if I wanted to. Uh, in this instance, I'm not going to. I'm just gonna hit send. And what's gonna happen is, it's actually gonna show me my, uh, my wrap up codes. So my wrap up codes here right now, I can put it in and say, um, let's send this, and my wrap up code, say they ask for directions, and I hit done, and now my interaction is done. So now, 
the next available agent will get the next email. So this will automatically queue those emails. Um, and then also we get a response. So back in my email, so whoever sent that email gets the response. We've accepted that lead and it comes from your company name uh, up here in the email. Now one of the other things we can take a look at is I can just do a regular inquiry. So this could be a, like a form submission from the website. Hey, I'm looking to get a quote on a move. Can you call me back? I need info. Hit send. And the same thing's going to happen. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to see that interaction show up and I'm going to wait to to answer it. So again, I get the information from the email here and you can see that it's four seconds, seven seconds, eight seconds in the queue uh, and it's it's counting down or counting up. Um, and if I don't answer it within a certain amount of time, I'm going to get an alert up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to decline this call. Uh, and it actually shows me, you can see it on the bottom here, that we're currently, I'm currently not responding. So I can go off queue or make myself available again. So let's just say that I walked away for a coffee and, and missed that email. I go back to make eligible for interactions and all of a sudden it pops back up. So I can go in here and I can hit answer. And now I'm actually connected to this email. So all my metrics are being captured. I believe I can go in here into the canned responses. And let's say that it's a service and I say in a welcome message, right? How can I be of assistance? Send. Uh, and then that actually ends the, the email. Because it is an email, it's not an ongoing chat. So you'd have to wait for somebody else to call to email back. But what I can do is I, I've responded back or you know if I wanted to send directions, I can send that email and now it's it's complete. Now I'm still on the queue, but I, I don't have any active calls. So I can go in and take myself off queue or click on my profile here and say that uh, I'm on break and it takes me off queue. One of the things I can do as a supervisor or admin of the contact centers, I can go into performance and take a look at interactions. And this is really cool. Um, what I can do here on the left hand side is a bunch of filters, date, duration, queue, direction, wrap up codes, evaluation score, because we can do workforce um, quality analysis, uh, and also media type. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into the date and say, give me everything from today. And then at the very bottom under medium type, media type, I'm going to say email. So here are the three emails that I've handled so far. So you get a listing of all your interactions. But let's take a look at the last one. I'm going to click on this. And what's actually going to pop up is going to be the interaction details of this entire interaction. So you'll see here's the person who's the internal person, the external person who created the email. What you'll be able to see here is you'll be able to see um, the email chat, who and when. Um, the interaction metrics, who responded, how long it took them to respond. If this was a call recording, like a voice call, you'd have the recording link here. The timeline, this will actually show you when they actually entered into the queue uh, and when it got alerted. So you can see here that it was alerting me and then I finally answered that call. Um, and then I dismissed it and then I re-enabled it and it alerted me again. And so you see the entire time here, the entire interaction is actually captured. Uh, even because emails, you can do quality analysis. So you could have a supervisor or a manager that's doing, uh, you know, quality scoring. Did the person say, have a great day? Did they say, how can I help you today? Uh, all these things can be audited, whether it be a voice call or email. All right. And then the last piece, um, you see the interaction. So you have all that detail just on email. As we mentioned before, you can set up cues, you can set up skills. You can uh, route it uh, so that uh, your highest closer gets the call first, or if you're going to be magnanimous and, and s distribute them equally as well, you can do that as well. Um, and the last piece is you can also pull reports on it. Last thing we're going to do is take a look at the reporting. So I just had a couple email interactions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to reports, and I'm going to go to my emails, and I'm going to create a new email. And I'm going to go into my queue reports and I'm going to say, let's see, we're looking for, let's try the daily report. Well, let's do this one. And we'll say email daily report. And we're going to take out the voice and the chat. We're just going to leave email. We're going to select the sales queue. We're going to say PDF. We're going to say generate it now. We're going to make it today's date, which is today hit save and it's going to generate this report 
Now immediately it's not ready yet. It's going to download this report. And when it is ready, you'll see the PDF and we can download it. Okay, so we waited and now we have that PDF file. So I'm gonna actually download this email report. And it's gonna open and download on a different screen, but I'm gonna open it up and bring it over. And what we have is a downloaded PDF file that's gonna tell us sales emails in November, chose November 30th to the 1st, offered, answered, abandoned, abandoned percentage, service level, average speed of answer, average talk time, which would be interaction time, average uh, call waiting, average hold time, or average handle time, there's no hold time. So um, transferred, if it was transferred out. So you've got a, a nice report that you can pull and schedule and have an email out so you can take a look at how often your your sales are, the emails in those queues are being answered and how quickly they're being responded to, just like it was any other um, interaction. And that's it for now on the interactive Pure Clouds email capability and Pure Cloud agent routing for email.